Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm showing you a really cool clutch bag or a makeup bag if you'd like. So this is something that you can use for multiple things. Um, I decided to use it as a clutch bag when I go out and I don't want to have a huge bag with me or a backpack. So yeah, I made this on purpose like this so that you can hold it tighter and it's a bit better because you have a little bit um, better grip. So in case you want to do this, you can do it the same way or you can just alter it according to your own needs and wishes. So on the inside, it has another fabric. So you can see that here we have a nice zipper on here. And of course, you can again change this if you need to. So you will need fabric for the outside section, something a bit thicker or sturdier, or you can do multiple middle layers and kind of make it thicker that way. Then inside fabric, any cotton will work, then a zipper, a hand gauge or something to measure with, pins and fabric scissors. So the size and the shape is completely up to you. You can make it as small as you'd like or as big as you'd like. Make sure that your zipper matches the width of your bag. In my case, this is the zipper I'm using and you see here how it matches. So we have about 10 inches of length here and the fabric is about 11 inches per piece. And I have two pieces of the outside fabric. So this is 11 inches times six or 28 centimeters times 15. And then we need the same out of the inside fabric as well. And that's what we need as our base. Then we can do additional stuff to make it more interesting. So just like you saw, I'm doing a bow in the front. So then you would need those pieces too. So I have it a bit wider than the main piece this time. So this is about 30 centimeters or a bit under 12 inches or 12 inches is fine. 10 centimeters is its width or four inches. And I did the same out of the inside fabric. I have it once for the outside and once for the inside. And then you will need the middle section out of each type of fabric. So that's going to go in the middle. And let me show you what I mean. So this is what we would get in the end. The wider the bigger pieces, the bigger the bow is going to be in the end. So this is just one option. You can of course do whatever you like. And I have here the bow and make sure that the middle piece fits in case you are making a bow like me. And you need once the inside fabric too. I did two more extra pieces. So these were just leftovers from the prep and those are gonna go over the end of the zipper. This way I wanna make it look a little bit nicer and kinda hide the ends. So I'm gonna hide the very ends of the zipper on both the left and the right side. Okay, so let's start with that. That's the first step. So let's unzip a bit and then we can align the fabric on top of our zipper. This time we're doing pretty side on pretty side and make sure that you pin this together so that it stays nicely in place when you get to your sewing machine. Then you can either um, just do a regular straight stitch over this section here or directly on the edge of your zipper. So in the end, we get something like this, and I think it looks a lot neater this way. The same we will do on the other end. So again, pretty side on pretty side, turn, and then see where your zipper section starts. So the teeth here or the metal plastic pieces, depending on your zipper, of course, you don't want to go over those so that you don't break your needle when you do the stitch over it. So 
so you see here that I did the stitch and when I turn it we get a really nice effect if we go over it one more time. And the same we will do on both sides and then we will have our zipper completely done. The next step will be to cut off the rest of the fabric on each side since we don't need that. You can leave this a bit longer, but you don't have to. Our next step will be the bow, so we're putting one inside fabric onto one outside fabric. Pretty side on pretty side. These are meant for the bow, so don't mix that up. And you just align really nicely. And then do a stitch all along the longer edges and then turn this inside out through the two smaller openings on each side and we will get a very lovely bow shape for that. And the same you do with the other pieces, so the two smaller ones, again align very nicely, pretty side on pretty side and just do the top and the bottom. After you do that, you can turn this inside out. And we can now, if we want to, do another stitch over the edges here if we want to have it really flat and not puffing up. And the same we will do with the bigger piece. Our next step is to put all of this together. So take your smaller piece and put it around the middle like this and then stitch the back side or the open ends actually and you get your bow. So I don't recommend going over it this way because it doesn't always work. Sometimes it's a little bit too thick so I'll do it separately. So I'll put it together, stitch and then later push the ring over the bigger piece. So I close the ring now and let's push it over now. Our bow can go on top of our main piece, so take the front or one of the outside pieces, that's the pink one in my case, and align nicely, see which way you want to have it. You should have a bit more room to fit in on each end, so that's what we want to have, and then we can just connect on the side or straight or diagonally, so whichever way you prefer, as long as you leave a bit of room on the top edge for the very zipper that we're gonna do later. And that's it. When you're satisfied with your position, so where you put the bow and what it looks like, you can then stitch both ends with just a regular straight stitch. And that's so that we keep it all in place when we do other pieces later. And when you finish that, then you can do the zipper section. So take your zipper and put it looking away from you on top of your main piece. So if you think about it, it's actually pretty side on pretty side again. Try to align it nicely. And um, this should be equally wide on both sides. Then you can pin and you can do two things. You can stitch along this outer edge and then put the inside fabric over it like this and then stitch it again, again along the whole edge. So that way you keep everything in place or you can align and pin everything at once and then align all the pieces 
and just do one instead of two regular straight stitches. So just stitch it up all together. So now that we did this, the one side, you can kind of see what you have for now. And then all that is left is to do the same with the other half of it. So we again take the outside piece, align the zipper looking away from us. Pin and stitch it up. And then you can do the inside fabric the same way. Again, align and stitch over the edge. And now that we have this done nicely, let me show you the outside. So you can see what the zipper looks like already. And you can check it out by unzipping it and zipping it back a couple of times to see if it's all good. You shouldn't have any fabric getting in the way or anything weird going on when you try to unzip and zip it back up. You could also do an extra stitch here on top to flatten it a bit, but I don't think that it'll look good with this type of fabric. So I'll leave it as it is this time. Now, when we unzip this at least halfway, we can then align the inside fabric pieces and the outside fabric pieces. I'll show you how to do that. There we go. And take a look that here you have this going upwards. So you want this folded and then you do a stitch on the side, on the bottom. So the longest side and the same here. Make sure that you have this piece again in the middle and finish the stitch then. Then you can do the same with the inside. So you again stitch up all three open edges all around here. You leave a little opening so that you can turn it later. So here I am after this, but before I turn this inside out, I'll just fix the corners. So I'll cut the leftover fabric a bit so that my corners are a bit neater when I turn them. Just make sure to keep all the stitches undamaged. Now we can turn this inside out. Take your time, don't rip any stitches in the process. And now you see if your zipper were closed, you wouldn't have been able to do this. So that's why we unzip it before we do this step. After we turn, we have our bag done. So make sure you fix all the edges and the corners, but all that we have to do now is to close the opening section on the inside fabric. So I'll take that inside fabric out a bit, and then you can just stitch the opening up with your sewing machine or by hand if you prefer that. Um, I think I'm gonna do the sewing machine this time because the stitch is then a little bit 
um, more stable, so to speak. So it might be a bit better option if you're doing it for a clutch band like I am. But either way, either method is just fine. Now we can push the inside fabric in and we are completely done. I'll fix the edges and corners one more time. And then we're completely done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up if you did. Let us know what you liked and if you have any questions, the comment section is open. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the project and I hope to see you in our next one. So until then, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.